YouTube intro take 37. YouTube intro take 94. Wow, YouTube intro. Hey there, YouTube. Lord and Icon coming back at you with another video. This time we got a mix it up chatbot masterclass. So, so what you're going to do is first is uh, download the application, which you can get at mixitupapp.com. Just a little orange uh, download button there. And you can see, I mean, you can go through and see it does, uh, I mean, everything. Stream Deck, Twitter, Discord, OBS, Streamlabs OBS, pretty much anything and everything you could ever want it to do, it will do. Um, so, download that sucker, install it, and then when you first uh, launch it, what you want to do is right-click it and run as administrator. This is very important because... It, uh, there's some uh, Windows uh, admin level things that need to happen with Mix It Up, depending on what you're doing. So it's just better to run it as administrator every single time you launch it. Oh, excuse me. So uh, once you do that, uh, you're going to be greeted with streamer or moderator. Um, obviously, we're going to focus on streamer, but we will do the moderator uh, part of this in another video because this is going to be a masterclass series of videos. So we're going to go ahead and just log in with my streamer account, xxlordnicon on Mixer.com, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this logged in. And uh, there's it's going to be a little bit counterintuitive because we're going to actually go through some of the things at the bottom of the menu first, which is the way you really should do this. So once we're in here, like we are here, you actually want to, uh, this is just the chat, which we're going to get to this in a second. But first thing you want to do is open up the menu and go all the way down to the bottom here to services. Click the services and then attach uh, or, you know, authorize any and all of these things that are relevant to you uh, and to your setup and your streaming, your software, whatever it is you're using. Uh, the one thing I do want to point out here, though, actually two main things. One, the very first one, this Mixer bot account you want to create a second and separate Mixer account to use as your bot account. So you can see here I have connected to it a XX Lord Nye bot account. So I created a different one. So you have to go to Mixer, create a new account with a separate email address, go through the process of setting it up, you know, getting waiting for you, whatever it is, a day or so for your stream key and all that kind of stuff. You know, click all the stuff, go through the whole thing, set it all up, and then follow your channel with the bot account account and make that a mod in your channel make that bot account a mod in your channel and then go into into mix it up here and connect that bot account to the mixer bot account here in mix it up and then uh overlay obs Streamlabs, you know all that kind of stuff whatever you're using connect those make all those connections here first so if you're using Streamlabs, you have, you have to connect Streamlabs obs and Streamlabs both to mix it up and then the other thing, key thing at the bottom here is this developer API. You want to just go ahead and enable the de uh, developer API because some things like Stream Deck require this to be enabled. Um, so it just it, it uh, will make things a lot smoother down the road if you go through and just set up all your services here so that everything you need connected to mix it up is already connected. Okay, so that is numero uno after. Uh, installing the software launching it for the first time you'll go through a wizard which will help set up some of these things um, but just go through the services make sure everything else is connected and authorized with mix it up then uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop up to this chat window so the very first one chat at the very top uh, yeah I, obviously we're seeing the chat that is on the channel right now you have dashboard clear chat and disable chat clear chat does exactly what it sounds like it's going to completely wipe erase any chat that's there here and on the channel so be careful using that disable chat will completely disable it so no one can chat at all uh, on the right hand side you have an eye with a number and a chat with a number this is how many viewers including lurkers people that haven't chatted or anything and those names will be displayed here and then the number of active chatting people is there and then dashboard which uh, oh you can also send a message you know, directly into chat right through this app too without having the, the stream window open. So the other cool thing about this is this dashboard. So you have a chat dashboard. I typically use this three right layout, but you can lay it out however you want. Uh, and then you control what how many items you can have up to four if, you ha if you're using obviously four. Um, 
So if you're using three, just use the first three. So you can have your chat, alerts, and statistics, which is the way I like setting this up. But then you can just go ahead and minimize the main, mix it up, and just keep this smaller window you know, on your second display or wherever, you know, whatever. But you get a kind of nice snapshot of what's happening with uh, the stream as you're streaming. Um, so we're going to go ahead and close the dashboard there. Um, so that's the overview of the chat window. Very pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and then we're going to move down to the channel here. So the, the first box, channel info, exactly what it sounds like. You can change your stream title, the game you're playing, the rating, the age rating. Just click update channel. Boom, it updates it right on your channel. Uh, if you want to, if you're ending your stream and you're looking for a channel to raid, this makes it nice and easy. You can set search criteria like you know small streamers, medium streamers, maybe they're using or playing the same game, what have you. If you know the username, you can just type it in here and search for it and raid them. Um, and then favorited users teams, so you can you can kind of organize your your. Uh, users or if you have teams for certain games or whatever so like favorite users i have here i have rig uh dirty olympia and uh legion 1573 great streamers by the way on mixer go check them out um so you can kind of group and you know or organize your uh teams and and favorite users and stuff like that all together here right in mix it up so we've touched on services chat and channel again this is the first of a series of videos coming out so this is just going to be basics um so that's the basics in the menu over here but i would do also want to touch on the cog here the main general settings for the application so if we go over here you have all these different things you have general you know op out of data tracking you use a beta program which is this here if you hover over a lot of these they'll tell you a little more in depth Default streaming software. So if you're switching, say from OBS to streaming or Streamlabs OBS or vice versa, you would change that here. Your default audio, if your audio settings change, download and install FFmpeg. This was already downloaded and installed, but if it was not, it'll tell you here and it'll give you a link to download it if it's not. If you want to save chat or vent logs, it's all here. Themes and colors for the app itself. Notifications, how and what they're they're sent to you. Chat. This is over. You know the chat. Uh, window and also dashboard within mix it up you can change customize that all right here uh, users you know if you want to have users in your chat automatically rank up because of certain hours viewed or what have you uh, you can you know set all that up here if you're using mix play you can you know do some other customization here overlays so this is where you would actually like create the the url for the overlay and then you can go back in later on another video and we'll show you how to actually manage and use those different overlays. Song requests. So if you're going to do that, you need to set it up here first. You know, if you're using Spotify or YouTube, allow explicit. You know, how many requests per person, that type of thing. If you have a backup um, URL for the a backup list of music, you can input that here. Hotkeys, exactly what it sounds like. If you want to use keyboard shortcut, you know, uh, you know, hit F12 to do a certain thing. You can hotkey that stuff here. Uh, remote. So this is where you control remote devices. So if you have mods and you they're using the Mix It Up mobile app because like say they're at the dinner or something like that or they want to mod from away from their computer, they can do it from their phone and they actually remote into your your uh, application on your desktop. So you can um, manage those here. Serial devices, that's getting super, super advanced. We can touch on that later. And then uh, advanced settings for the app itself. Um, Access folder where mix it up is installed, backup settings, restore, you know, that kind of, that type of thing, all right here. Enable, disable diagnostics, clear all user data, all that kind of stuff can be had here. So once you go through these settings initially, you probably won't go in here much uh, at all after that. But that kind of gives you a quick overview of setting up, mix it up, getting, you know, getting kind of getting your footing, understanding how the app works. The basic settings, making sure your services are set up, making sure your second mixer account, your bot account is set up. Uh, these are all the things you want to do before you even really kind of get into it. But this will replace, you know, the cloud bot from Streamlabs or the cat bot from Mixer or any other bot you've been using or, you know, an amalgam of bots you've been using. You can pretty much ditch all of them and use Mix It Up to replace them all. So you have one place to go for all your bot needs. Uh, so with that, we're going to go and wrap this video up. 
Again, Lord Nikon on Mixer, XX Lord Nikon on Mixer, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Catch me on Twitter, Instagram, you know, all the things. Throw the old thumbs like on this sucker. Subscribe for so you don't miss any of the upcoming content as well. And uh, if you have any useful tips for other people, you know, that pertain to this video in particular, uh, because again, we're going to be doing more of these in the future for Mix It Up. But for this, if I missed anything in these general settings or setup, feel free to comment below. And until next time, you all stay cool.